Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna be painting a surfer and we're gonna be doing it with some uh, ultramarine blue and some white for a sky. So we're gonna go ahead and spread this paint around and get the sky going and uh, see how that sky turns out. We're just looking for a flat blue sky here. Um, something reminiscent of, you know, morning California sky is uh, we want the light to come from the back direction and uh, so we don't have any sun setting sun in this and so we're just going to go ahead and I'm not using a palette today <laughs> I'm just uh, throwing the paint on the canvas and just spreading it around just because this is just going to be a big blue wave and we're just going to spread our ink around and uh, it's mostly going to be some ultramarine blue mixed with some phthalo green and white. Um, that's basically the three colors I'm using for this wave. Um, I did add a little black here and there, uh, especially for the um, shadowing that I'm gonna be putting in here. Um, I think that's about the only four colors actually that I kind of messed around with on this painting. Um, so I'm just adding in the shadow of the surfer right now, getting his arm shadow, his leg shadow, his surfboard shadow in there, um, trying to work that in so that it doesn't look like it's so much um, just sitting on top of the water, just gonna kinda try to get it to um, work its way into the water somehow. Um, Every painting that I work on, because I'm not a professional painter or anything, I kind of just fly off the seat of my pants. Um, I don't do this for a living. This is just for fun and hobby. Um, as you can see, uh, my painting techniques are probably not a professional painter's techniques. Um, I just throw color on the canvas and I kind of just blend it in here and there until I find the, the right look I'm looking for. So. This is how I work on my paintings. Um, there are other artists that have other methods of painting and working the ink. And uh, I just try to throw it on there and see what comes up. So getting back to my painting here, I'm just going to do a little blending in on the shadow of the surfer. And uh, just kind of work in the shadow and um, into the water. And uh, just keep working on it until I get it just the way I want to get it. As you can see, uh, just going about putting more details into the water. Um, as the surfer hit the, the water there, he's gonna throw like this big water roost. So I'm gonna add that in and um, put some more detail into the water, more splashes and white highlights in there. Um, just trying to get that wave to look more realistic. There I'm adding on to the, uh, the water roost of the surfboard hitting that water. And uh, adding the fins to the surfboard. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit here and um, just kind of show you how I was going about adding the effects of the water uh, to this um, like water splash wave, I, I don't know what you would call it. Um, in motocross, uh, they call it a roost. Um, I'm just gonna call it a roost. And so there I'm adding some white highlights to the edges of that roost and some splashing water, just little droplets here and there. Just take my time, enjoyed it, listened to some music while I was painting this and uh, just having a good time. Uh, water's kind of fun to paint. I just like, you know, the, the effects that water puts out when it's uh, caught in motion like that. It's got a lot of just a lot of action and motion going on. And so I like to capture that in my paintings. It just makes it look more, you know, comes alive, I guess you can say. And uh, 
just like doing this type of stuff, you know, kind of puts me in my own little world, I guess you could say, and uh, just like to um, add all the different shades of color that go into water. You know, water has um, a lot of gray shading, white, a little bit of blue. And so, like I said, mostly the most that, uh, that I used for this painting was just white, ultramarine blue, the uh, thallo green, and a little bit of black. And then I think the only other colors that I worked with Oh, the surf, the surf guy. Once I get to that, um, yeah, I did qu use quite a bit of other colors in this painting. So, but for the wave and the water, um, basically just those three to four colors, um, and that pretty much took care of all that in the sky as well. Um, when we get to painting the surf guy on the board, um, I think we used. Uh, some yellow, some burnt umber. And I'm trying to think. I know burnt umber and yellow and white and some black or dark brown I added in there. So I think I used about four other colors on the surfer. Um, his shorts were black, I know that. Now a surfboard, there really, really wasn't much color to it. It was just kind of a gray shade with a, with a white edge. And uh, so that was fairly simple. So here I'm going to outline my surf guy in his position on the board. Just kind of took some white and uh, just kind of kind of a grayish white and just kind of gave my surf guy the, the, the outline of his body and his leg extending out, you know, at the top of that surfboard. And his arm is grabbing onto the side of the surfboard. And, his other arm is just kind of like hanging down. His other leg is kind of bent with his foot on this, you know, he's got his feet on the surfboard, of course. And so here I'm just kind of throwing down some color just to kind of get the idea of where the guy's going to be situated here. And uh, so used, um, like I said, I used uh, yellow, I think uh, mixed in some white and burnt umber. Um, those were pretty much it, I think. Um, either it was either burnt number or, or I used a light brown. I can't remember. And so I'm just I just used basic black for his shorts. His shorts looked black, so I went ahead and just used black on those. And uh, I used the help of my large brush so that I could steady my hand on this. Um, this is a small painting. A lot of times I, I'm, when I'm working on big, huge paintings, I'll, if I'm doing any detail at all, I just use that help of my, my big brush or, or a, a wooden dowel helps, uh, which I didn't have uh, with me this time. So um, I do need to get myself a, a better wooden dowel with, a, with one of those soft ends to it. Uh, I've seen a lot of painters use that when they're working on paintings, um, but this one worked out just fine. And so I'm just putting the finishing touches on my surfer guy, just adding some highlights to his skin. Um, very hard to see in this video because he's so small. And um, I wish I had used a different brush for his uh, leash. Um, the brush that I'm using there is a very tiny detail brush. So I use that on his hair and his face. And uh, so I pretty much kind of finished it. I just kind of came back here. I, I went ahead and initialed it, but then I came back and I wanted to add more detail to the water and uh, just add in some more white splashes um, just because I felt like it needed more. So I went ahead and grabbed my white and just started adding a bunch of white splashes all over the, the wave. Just wanted to give it more action, uh, give it that that movement, you know, like the, the water's really just everywhere. Um, when a wave is crashing, you have so much movement, so much uh, power in the water going everywhere. And so um, 
I really wanted to capture that. And so I felt like it was unfinished. So I really wanted to add more to it to make it give you that, that feeling like, man, this water's really, you know, gushing and moving everywhere. So anyway, just wanted to go back and add that in so that you can see. Uh, I really did put quite a bit of work into this. All in all, I think I spent, I want to say maybe two hours on this painting. I think about how much time I put into it. And uh, I was actually quite surprised at how well it came out. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, I've kind of been away from painting for a while and now I'm just kind of getting back into it. And uh, just wanted to make some videos and throw them up on YouTube and see if anybody wants to watch them. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you like it, give us a like. And um, if you want to subscribe and follow us, go ahead and do that too. And uh, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure.